With seven Google products that serve over a billion users and dozens of products that serve over a million users and front-end traffic that serves millions of queries per second, Google scale is likely no surprise. But have you ever wondered what it takes to construct Google's computing infrastructure at that scale? It starts with forecasts of how much compute, storage, and network capacity is needed by product teams across Google. The forecasts drive plans for how much supporting infrastructure to deploy. That plan initially tells us when to find power, build data centers, design and deploy networks, and establish edge network presence throughout the world. Later on, a product team decides exactly when they need additional compute, network, and storage resources. That triggers an order for hardware. Here's how that works. Our suppliers ship the parts needed to contract manufacturers who assemble them and store them in a regional warehouse for future use. Much of our hardware is custom built to our own designs, such as tensor processing units. We decide when to acquire inventory to make sure we achieve cost optimal availability and ensure that hundreds of components from dozens of suppliers around the world come together when they are needed. Trucks, planes, trains, and pack mules take these parts to a local spoke warehouse close to our data center. Once they get there, local staff perform the install, connect the power and cooling, and then the new gear is tested automatically before it's turned over to our product teams. In the Unified Fulfillment Optimization Team, or UFO, we're automating this entire process. We're aiming to minimize Google's costs, and since we spent $30 billion on capital over the last three years, that's a big deal, and help ensure that Google can continue to scale. We help deliver hundreds of thousands of computers a year, and network capacity that lets us contribute 25 to 40% of the global internet user traffic, all in support of serving billions of queries a day from our users. We are software and hardware engineers, operations and machine learning researchers, analysts, and product and program managers. Come join us.